Hello everyone, the warm-up channel is with you and today we will talk about the situation at the front and what changes have occurred over the past day. And let us always start with the losses that the Russian army suffered over the past day. Russia lost 200 liquidated personnel, 11 tanks, 20 armored personnel vehicle, 7 artillery system, 1 MLRS, uh, 4 helicopters, 4 UAV, 18 vehicles and full tanks, and one special equipment. Good result for Ukrainian army. There was no special movements at the front today, both sides carried out personal rotation and regrouping. The Ukrainian army is preparing for a massive force offensive, and the Russian army is preparing for a long defense. The Ukrainian army was able to advance further north of uh, Torsky here, um, and today with the liberation of the settlements of Terny and Yampolovki was confirmed, as we basically foresaw, uh, the Ukrainian army is unlikely to attack Riminaya in the uh, forehead, but most likely will bypass in the north. Uh, let's see the, how the Russian side reacts to this. Also today the release of Petrovki. Uh, Petrivsky was confirmed and we actually began the liberation of Lugansk region because Petrovsky is already uh, the Lugansk region and allegedly as the Russian think we have already captured the territory of the Russian Federation which of course is very funny um, and also photos and videos from Makivka are already appearing um, in the internet, so most likely this settlement was also liberated by Ukrainian troops. On the other sectors of the front's um, attack on Bakhmut also continue. Um, as always, uh, they are unsuccessful. The Parisian region without changes is shelling from both sides. In the direction of Kherson there was a slight uh, lull. Um, there was information that Ukrainian troops had already entered um, to Snigurivka, um, but it was not confirmed, but the Ukrainian army was there a little bit moving forward, preparing for uh, further liberation of the territory, and I think tomorrow there will be more news about what other settlements uh, the Ukrainian army managed to liberate. Um, namely, the Russian Telegram uh, channel says that the Ukrainian troops managed to bypass um, the blown up bridge which was located in the settlement of um, Duchani and go in uh, and liberate Kucharivka. Uh, is it true or not? We will find tomorrow. Uh, information also appeared as a result of successful action of the defense forces in the Kherson direction, enemy units suffered losses and are trying to evacuate the wounded and equipment to the nearest crossing across the Dnipr river. In particular, the enemy moved up to uh, 150 wounded servicemen and about 50 units of damaged military equipment to the settlement uh, of Vesea, Nila Kharkovska. Uh, that's all um, for me. Thank you all for your attention and see you tomorrow.